Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about document-based authoring. So before we move on further, let me ask you one question. Can we build and run a website without any server? Let me ask you more specific question. Can we build and run a website on AEM as a cloud without AEM published tier or without AEM tier? Answer is yes, we can do it with the help of edge delivery service or Franklin or document-based authoring. Edge delivery service is new add-on to AEM as a cloud service infrastructure. You can assume this as a new module or new framework or new CMS. So in normal use case, when we don't have edge delivery services, we have AEM published tier and AEM author tier. AEM author tier is used to create content. Published tier is used to serve content. I'm not considering web server as of now because I'm talking about the core components, core functionalities. So as soon as request comes in, the content is served back from the edge uh, this AEM publish and content is created on AEM author. Now, there is a new feature or new module or new framework has been introduced, whatever you want to call it, called Edge Delivery Service, where to serve or run a website, AEM published tier is not required or web server is not required. But the question is, how do you create content for Edge Delivery Service if AEM is not required at all? One option is you can move content of your existing sites to edge delivery service but these content need a update you cannot move straight forward your existing site because you need to optimize your dom as per edge delivery service but primary source of edge delivery service content is not aem author it is document based authoring now we'll see what is document based authoring and in series throughout this series we'll see how you create content and code for edge delivery services using document based authoring so as i have already explained in previous tutorial we have edge delivery services infrastructure which is built on cloud it is a serverless infrastructure we this is used to store the customer's code and configuration and this actually convert your document to hypermedia or html on top of that we have customers existing infrastructure a, their own cdn or dns or whatever and finally we have end user so as the request comes in the response is returned back through the customers existing infrastructure and all the content processing happened at edge delivery service right but the question is to run a website you need two things one is content another one is code if we are not using AEM, then how do we create content and how do we manage code? That's the important question for this, this entire edge delivery services functionality. So in for the content, we use document based authoring and either we can create content either Google Docs or using Microsoft Docs means either use you can use Google Docs or Google Spreadsheet to create content and store information or you can use Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel to store content and additional information. If you are using Google Docs, that Google Docs must be in your Google Drive. If you are using Microsoft Word or this Excel sheet, that should be in SharePoint. This is the content, but how we write code because we don't have AEM, we don't have any build process. So all the code and configuration stay in your GitHub repo. So this code and content is moved to edge delivery services inside, as I explained in last tutorial in content bus or code bus, and then the pipeline are responsible. These pipelines uh, convert these mark this document and uh, taking code and configuration to final html so how it work as i said the document and the code is moved to edge delivery services where using the pipeline services that is transformed to hypermedia or html and then it is served to end user so what are the requirement to create a simple website for your learning answer is one you should have a github account well, you should have a Google account. I'm assuming we guys don't have SharePoint. So 
for throughout this series i will use google account means google drive and later i'll explain with help of sharepoint as well and you need to understand basic html css and javascript this is enough to set up a website or a project for edge delivery services if you want to set up your local development environment like you don't need to develop a local development environment but before we move on your changes to edge delivery services if you want to check on your local or you want to write code in your id and want to see uh, before move anything to edge delivery service you can create a local development environment and for that you need node or npm install on your local and that's it nothing else is required so why edge delivery when we already have aem then why edge delivery so these using edge delivery we create lightweight websites means the target is the lighthouse score should be 100 in real scenario 100 is not achievable at all but we try to keep lighthouse score as close as possible to 100 zero learning and zero onboarding time for content author what do you mean by zero learning so zero learning is not possible any case but what adobe is trying to say here or do here zero learning for tool let's say you have a new content author for AEM. So to create content, first content author need to understand AEM. Then they need to understand about content authoring, right? But in that case, because we use most common tools like Google, Google Docs or Microsoft Word. So to understand tools, you need zero learning. People are already know about these, con these tools. So now you only need to know how to author your specific content. So that's the meaning of zero learning and zero onboarding. So zero onboarding time is more precise word here. Well-known software, as I'm explained, Google Docs and Microsoft Words are used for authoring. Pages are fast and lightweight. Google Sheet and Microsoft Excel are used if you need additional information. Let's say you want to store some data apart from your content. So that you can use either Google Sheet or Google uh, Microsoft Excel. This was just a higher level in coming tutorial. Now we'll start seeing the actual demo. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.